morning guys. It's about 20 past six and we've just left the place we were staying last night. We're in the RV and we're heading to shoot a video today at a natural rock slide. Um, I'm not gonna describe it, I'm just gonna wait till we get there to show you, but apparently it's incredible. Um, I had a nice rest yesterday and I actually managed to get a little bit more sleep than we have been last night. Uh, and you might also notice I've had a shave. We've arrived, we're strolling down to check this place out. This already looks amazing. Alright, Chris is setting up the chopper. Yes. How's it looking? Looking good. Looking good, absolutely love it. These arms just pop in and out for easy transportation and uh, getting them set up and ready to go. Fly over some rock slide stuff, so it should be pretty sweet. This is my breakfast this morning. Spicy pastrami. So I'm doing the intro to today's video. I'm gonna be sitting in this raft and I'm gonna be coming down this river here and then straight down the waterfall. It should be pretty uh, interesting. These guys have all come to join us. So much air at the bottom guys, that was unbelievable. The bodyboards are way better than the rubber dinghy. I can tell today is gonna to be an incredible day. It's gonna be so much fun. How was it? Awesome. I was told that there's eels in this, so I'm a little paranoid about that though. We've lost a GoPro, it's fallen in the water somewhere. Having a little search. So they found some glasses, a little necklace thing, a watch, a ring, an earring, but no GoPro so far. Guys, look, I slipped over and hit my head. It's very dangerous, this slope. This is the slippery moss that covers the whole rock face. And this is what I slipped over on and hit my head. people have arrived to take part in today and uh, some of the guys have brought a ramp for people to come all the way down the slope hit the ramp and then hopefully uh, people will be busting somersaults and stuff so check this out this is pretty scary These guys are crazy. That ramp is dangerous. Oh my gosh. Ah, we've got a serious injury here. Oh. $80,000 camera. Very slippery rocks. Not a good combo. Guys, look at Jordan's face. No! Give the ramp a little kiss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's severe. <laughs> Have you broken it? 
I hope not. Oh dear. <laughs> I was just deciding whether to do it or not. This has kind of made my mind up for me. It's pretty good. The first four times were good. Fifth time, you know, you get a little greedy. Right, you're nice. Someone told me that uh, when you hit the ramp, the ramp hits back. Yep. Yeah, that's true. It certainly does, from the looks of it. How's that look? Yeah, good. Good look. You look like a boxer. I'm walking back up to the camper van. I've got my dreads out, I'm trying to dry them in the sun. And uh, I think it's time for some lunch. I am loving this camper van, guys. This is the exact way I want to travel. You've got everything you need, you can sleep here if you need to, you've got a bit of food. This is probably actually a little bit too luxury for what I need, but no complaints here. Um, I just came back and look, just casually, we've got a whole fridge full of food. That's better than like houses I've lived in in the past. <laughs> Things are winding down, I've got a few more shots to film for Devin's video. I started the video by rowing in the little rowboat, so we're gonna do a few more shots of me in the rowboat. I just blew this back up by mouth with no pump uh, because it had been deflated a little bit. And then I guess we're I'm gonna be rowing over there or maybe down there, I don't know. And that's a wrap. What was your money shot of the day, Devin? What was the best shot you thought? I feel like every shot of you, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got some rad shots. I mean, Louis was the opening, and to us, the opening is like crucial. So we got during golden hour, the sun was rising. Louis was, sorry, I'm out of breath. We just carried all our equipment up. But uh, I honestly feel like every shot was a money shot because everyone was so amazing here. So just got a bunch of really good stuff. And we got everybody GoPro, so the camera was always on everybody, which is really awesome as far as showing the culture. And we got a lot of Maori people out here as well. And this is kind of their thing. So I, all the jumps they were hitting were mind blowing as well. So it was a good day. This video is going to be sick, guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Three weeks from now. We've left the rock slide and we have driven down the road to a place called the Champagne Pools. So we're trying to find our way down there now. I think it's down here. I don't know how to get down there. Maybe this way. This doesn't look like I can get down there. Guys, today's been so incredible because the things we've been doing in these places are just natural places. Like they're just rivers and amazingly formed rocks. And people have probably been coming here for centuries. It's not a big tourist attraction. They're actually relatively unknown until I've told the whole world now uh, and Devin. But um, seriously, come and check this place out if you're ever in New Zealand. Um, yeah, mind blowing. So Clara is from Germany and she's been helping us today with the video, she's been taking part and she's, I've asked her to tie my dreads up like her dress. <laughs> <Think she's doing laughs> I was so worried watching you guys cross through these. I was like, oh yeah, my, no. favorite, my favorite thing about what we do though is like having really expensive stuff that can get ruined really fast. So to me, like the adrenaline's always going. So <laughs> rumors have it that this circular pool here has no bottom. It is so deep that no one's ever reached the bottom. Right, these girls are off. Thanks for helping. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your time in New Zealand. You too. Bye. Devin, how many gigabytes of footage did you shoot today? Just on one camera, 512 gigs. With everyone's cameras, it's around one terabyte. In one day? In one day, a hard day's work. And we had to back it up, so that's two terabytes. Oh my god. But we brought 12, tw we brought 24 terabytes of hard drives. So we brought plenty. That is a crazy amount of data, people. A crazy amount of data. We have a five hour drive now to Rotorua, but before we do, we're gonna stop off for some dinner. A well-deserved dinner after filming all day at the Rock Slide. And we found this Indian tandoori restaurant, which is very exciting. We've finished dinner. 
and as you remember earlier Jordan hit his nose quite hard and we suspect it's broken so before we head off to Rotorua we've stopped in at a hospital to see if he needs to get an x-ray or a stitch or something. How are you feeling? All right. I, uh, I don't think I'd care. I don't really care about the fact that my feet are shredded up from sandboarding but faces are important especially for you two. Yeah you don't want to leave a big scar on your nose. Yeah. Hi. I think I might have broken my nose. What did the other guy look like? What's that? What did the other guy look like? Oh, uh, <laughs> it was actually a ramp. <laughs> Jordan has been told we need to wait at least an hour before we can get seen. So I'm just strolling over to tell the other guys the situation. And uh, hopefully it can get sorted soon and we can head off because we've got a big drive. And at this rate we're going to get zero sleep back at the youth hostel before absorbing tomorrow morning. I just had the greatest hospital experience of my entire life. I think New Zealand might be the best country in the entire world. Dr. Tom is really nice. He put some glue in my nose and then Nurse Jan gave me a tetanus shot and uh, gave me a foot bath. Yeah? And then uh, mummified my feet. Oh my and, gosh. Uh, and she, I told her, she told me not to get it wet and I told her we needed to go rafting tomorrow. Yeah. So she said uh, to screw it. You only live once. Go for it. <laughs> Awesome, so you're all patched up and ready to go. I'm ready to go. I got a clean bowl of health, but he was quite worried about my feet. He said they looked really bad. Oh dear. <laughs> you have been in the wars, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go, let's go. We've all been sleeping in the back of the RV and we've finally arrived in Rotorua. It's 2 a.m. We're gonna head to our rooms, get some sleep before an early morning tomorrow. Whew, this trip is non-stop. I'm going to sign out here guys, catch you in the morning, peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure, boom.